Now let's learn about the electrical activity in the myocardial fibers of the heart. The heart pumps blood to the tissues of the body constantly. This is possible because the atria and the ventricles of the heart contract and relax in regular intervals. For effective pumping of blood, the muscles of the atria and ventricle need to contract and relax in a sequential manner constantly. And this contraction and relaxation of the atria and the ventricular muscles is the mechanical activity. And if you remember from the previous lectures, mechanical activity is always preceded by an electrical activity in the muscles. In this case, before the contraction and relaxation of the ventricles, there is a preceding electrical activity in the muscles of the atria and the ventricles. And this electrical activity in the muscles of the atria and the ventricle is possible because of the electrical activity in the pacemaker cells. So the pacemaker cells have a property of autorhythmicity wherein they can generate their own impulses. And this electrical activity spreads to the muscles of the atria and the ventricle through the conducting system. And that electrical activity causes the mechanical activity of contraction and relaxation of the atria and the ventricles. As you already know, the SA node or the sinoatrial node is the primary pacemaker of the heart which generates impulses automatically. And those impulses spread through the conducting system of the heart and as it spreads through the conducting system, the impulses also spread to the muscles of the heart, namely the atria and the ventricular muscles. And as the impulses pass through, through the muscles of the heart, that electrical activity which passes through the muscles of the heart then leads to a mechanical activity of contraction and relaxation of the heart. In the following slides, I will talk to you in more detail about the electrical activity that occurs in the muscles of the heart, namely the atria and the ventricles. The myocardial cells, that is the cells of the muscles of the heart, namely the atrial and ventricular muscle cells have a resting membrane potential of minus 90 millivolt. Electrical activity spreads via the conducting system of the heart to the cardiac muscle cells or the myocardial fibers in the form of depolarization. And this depolarization leads to the generation of action potential in the muscle cells of the heart. This action potential has five phases, namely phase 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Phase 4 is the phase of resting membrane potential, which is usually minus 90 millivolt. Phase 0 is the phase of rapid depolarization. Phase 1 is the phase of brief rapid repolarization. Phase 2 is the plateau phase. Phase 3 is the phase of slow repolarization. And phase 4 is the phase of resting membrane potential. The ionic basis of the action potential 
in the cardiac muscle fibers that is the muscles of the atria and the ventricles of the heart is as follows as you know there are five phases which are the phase 0 1 2 3 and 4 the phase 0 or the phase of rapid depolarization is due to the sodium influx that is positive sodium ions entering inside the muscle cells of the heart through the activation of voltage gated sodium channels and as the sodium ions enter in the cells get depolarized and when it reaches a certain level the sodium channels get inactivated so there is no further influx of sodium ions or positive ions and this inactivation of sodium channels leads to the phase 1 or the phase of rapid repolarization where the membrane potential of the cell goes down and that is followed by the phase 2 or the plateau phase where the membrane potential is maintained as at almost the same level it, there is no rapid increase or decrease and this phase of plateau phase is because of the influx of calcium to the slowly opening voltage gated calcium channels and after this there is the phase of repolarization or phase 3 that is due to the inactivation of calcium channels and the activation of voltage gated potassium channels due to the activation of voltage gated potassium channels the positive potassium ions go out of the cells that is there is potassium efflux from the cells leading to lowering of the membrane potential because the positive ions are lost out of the cell so the positivity inside the cell reduces leading to a decrease in the membrane potential that is the phase of repolarization and as the repolarization progresses there comes a level where the membrane potential goes back to the resting membrane potential with the phase 4 due to the inactivation of voltage gated potassium channels so when the membrane potential lowers to the level of the resting membrane potential there is inactivation of voltage gated potassium channels so there is no further efflux of potassium ions and the membrane potential is maintained at the resting membrane potential state and these steps occur constantly and repeatedly in a rhythmic manner helping the heart to beat constantly this electrical activity of the cardiac muscle fibers can be used clinically to record the ECG or the electrocardiogram where multiple electrodes are placed on the surface of the chest corresponding to the heart and the summed electrical activity of all the cardiac muscle fibers can be recorded extracellularly 
to produce the ECG or the electrocardiogram which records the electro or electrical activity of the heart cardiac meaning heart producing a graph known as the electrocardiogram thanks for listening to me if you like this video please hit the thumbs up comment your feedback and let me know if you would like to discuss any further topics or if you have any questions about this and also share it with your friends so that they can also learn from it and kindly subscribe to support my channel also feel free to shoot me an email at decodedmedicine at gmail.com with further questions or if you need any personal tutoring also feel free to let me know through an email or in the comments below thank you happy learning until next time